Hello everyone, this is Madison from Josefina Sienna. If you have seen my previous video of unboxing a whole bunch of doll food, this is Maxine and Nenea. Today's video, I am going to be unboxing a doll that I have put off since January. And I'm just finally around getting to it. Now, I have a whole list of videos to film. I also am decluttering right now. So I gave my sister all my books. These bookshelves used to be full of books, but I told myself I need to choose dolls or be an ebook person besides American Girl. I don't have the space for both. So I chose my American Girl, of course, and my dolls is not just limited to American Girl dolls. This doll is not an American Girl doll, so if you only exclusively watch American Girl or only exclusively collect American Girl dolls, this might not be the video for you, but I will be unboxing this Jillian's Closet doll. I got this doll with Maxine from TJ Maxx with my Christmas haul video and she's been in the box pretty much since January or late December when I got her. Those are all of my American Girl doll books. There used to be a whole bunch more. I am decluttering, but I wanted to show you guys who are on a budget and can't afford American Girl some alternatives because these dolls, when I was growing up, it was only like American Girl doll. There was no My Life As or Our Generation, so that's why I've been interested in them. So this girl is named Heather because I called a store associate for TJ Maxx named Heather for the American Girl doll, and she put her on hold for me, but she also put her this doll, the Jillian, Jillian's Closet doll that I didn't ask, but... I just took her just to explore other brands and she has green eyes and red hair. She reminds me of Felicity. And then later, maybe in a different video, I got this doll beneath her a year ago. Haven't bonded with her, haven't even shown her on my YouTube channel. So... That might be a surprise for a different video, but today we're going to be unboxing this doll. So here's Heather. I don't know if I want to keep the name as Heather. And if you hear a male voice in the background, I have a gamer brother next door to my room, which I apologize. So this is my first Jillian's Closet doll. I can't get over her eyes. It's like a mixture. The camera doesn't even do it justice of blue and green. She has hard vinyl, just like the American Girl dolls. I just couldn't get over her shoes. Like, yeah, they're plastic and not American Girl, but it's the attention to detail because they look like workout shoes. And I know it's dark, but I want to, s warning, doll nudity. See what her body looked like under her clothing and see how similar she is to American Girl for $20. I am really impressed. I didn't expect it. And honestly, the packaging of her was so easy to get out. Easier than like Nenea and Corinne, especially to the Z Illies. So I personally already, I love her. I would say look at your local Marshalls, Joann's, maybe Macari. They're $20. I got mine for $20 during the holiday season with Maxine. So these two were together. But I'm already so happy with her. So let's see what her body is like. So I apologize for the noise. My brother's in a really intensive game and my sister is also vlogging for her book channel. So I will link that down below and put below. And the only complaint I have is the black pants stained her legs. I'm going to try to do the acne treatment and see if that will help with all these TLC dolls that I'm taking in as well. 
I have a long to-do list for all these dolls, but I'm hoping to take it as a therapeutic approach for all of the grad school stress that I'm going to be under. Now, she does have hard vinyl. It's not the soft vinyl that our generation is. I would say the vinyl limbs are very similar to American Girl. The cloth body is different, but it's not that far off. Honestly, it's a little more higher quality than you would get with our generation. And the limbs move just like an American Girl up down sides maybe not the side just up and down like it's not ball jointed it's just forward and back but she looks so similar to them for $20 compared to the $115 you're saving $100 with the Jillian's closet doll I will say when you shake her though you can hear the eyes rattling, whereas if with American Girl, I don't think that's the case. Like, look, I'm shaking the Naya end. But I want to talk about her clothing. She is rooted, so she's not wigged. I know that's going to bug some people, but for me, I don't mind. Especially after unboxing an off-brand 18-inch doll that I've never heard about, never seen anyone review. And it was the Big Lots Imagine Us line. Her rooting is already whoop, so much better than that. Like, it is a little sparse, but it's not as sparse as my previous video which I will also link below about the Imagine Us. And yeah, so this channel is not just exclusively American Girl. I'm reviewing a lot of 18-inch doll brands, but poor Heather, or if you have other name suggestions, comment down, comment down below. I am just rushing this. And so I want to show you the clothes because honestly, this caught me by surprise because I'm so used to buying My Life as in our generation that if there's a double layer that they're sewn together. But look, here's the sweater that she was wearing. It's sparkly gray with the heart. But this was the turtleneck underneath and it's separate. Like you can completely mix and match these. And then I was so excited to have some neutral leggings, but... I don't understand how these stained and then with this fabric it stained her legs so bad and then this beanie so if you get the same exact doll the beanie was literally like how do I say it strapped to her head with these plastic they're not velcro it's like when things stay in a box Anyways, this is my short review of Jillian's Closet. I like her better than the Imagine Us. That's just my opinion. So if you want a new doll on a budget, I would highly recommend this doll because our generation is $25. So you even get $5 off in a better quality doll with non-squishy vinyl. Like the vinyl is literally the same as American Girl. So for $20, I'm really impressed. I don't know much about this company. I only saw one YouTube video about Jillian's Closet dolls. So I'm gonna link that below and put it in the cards. I appreciate every single one of you. I apologize for the doll nudity. And I hope to see you guys next time. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and what is your favorite off-brand American Girl doll? Just let me know and I will see you guys next time. Bye!